I've been asked to speak on the, I guess, the most recent uh, mission, the Governor of British Columbia's recent mission to China. One of the first objectives was about uh, the celebration of our of our relationship with Guangdong Province. It was the 20 year. This year is the 20 year anniversary between British Columbia. We have a sister relationship with Guangdong Province, and we have such not only significant cult cultural ties with Guangdong but also those economic ties that we have Guangdong and that relationship that we established over 20 years. The second objective that we had uh, was focused on building new relationships um, tied not only to growing opportunities for our priority sectors in our province, particularly our technology sector, but it represented a bit of a shift to uh, where, BC, where the BC government is looking in terms of its own in-market presence and the work that we're doing in Asia. And focusing on what we call the pain points, the pain points that China is experiencing now uh, as a growing economy, the pain points that they're experiencing when you look at the growth, the urban development, those pain points and the solutions that we can bring um, in terms of our expertise and our knowledge. And finally, the third objective was uh, relating to HV Camp Vancouver. And it was uh, that partnership, bringing that partnership government, uh, the private sector, and HQ Vancouver on mission to deliver that message to Asian companies that British Columbia is, has a very strong value proposition. We are the most Asian city in North America our tax advantages, all of the things that we have, we are the place, the hub for global business between North America and Asia. We had over 200 delegates. We had the, probably the most delegates ever accompanying a mission, both community as well as business. We saw more than 40 announcements and signings that took place uh, over that one week period. And when we look at the total value, the preliminary estimates uh, for those agreements, we're looking potentially about 1.4 billion in trade uh, to the BC economy over the next uh, two to five years. I think we really um, sent that message and increased the understanding among key government officials as well that BC technology and manufacturing companies are really well positioned and are, le are leading edge, are already uh, operating on the global stage and that they can meet China's growing need for alternative energy and also clean technology solutions. We walked away with new commitments uh, for delegations, for, for government and, and accompanying business delegations to come from China in 2016, from Guangdong province, from Shenzhen, as well as Hubei province, with a focus on looking what British Columbia out has to offer in terms of our technology sector and our clean tech solutions. One of the agreements that I just want to highlight is the one that ba uh, Ballard Power System signed with uh, Tang Shan Railway Vehicle Company to provide fuel cell solutions for railway tram for rail trams in China, and to give you the sense of the scope of what this agreement could mean, not only to Ballard but also to the province. Tang Shan Railway Vehicle Company is a subsidiary of the China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, and it's the world's largest manufacturer of trains. In terms of our third objective, uh, promoting BC and Vancouver as, as the hub for global business between Asia and North America, we had uh, a significant buzz and some real exciting opportunities that emerged. It was really the first time um, where uh, Asian companies and even the, the delegates that were, were on our mission have seen government, the private sector, and an organization like HQ Vancouver come together and v deliver a very powerful message, a very powerful value proposition on why Asian companies should be establishing their North American headquarters in Vancouver and British Columbia. And from my perspective, the, the commitments that we have uh, for companies to come and, uh, and, and come to Vancouver and meet with HQ Vancouver, real firm commitments and follow-up work that came out of that mission, it was significant. Particularly in China and in Southeast Asia now too, government plays a very unique role. And I think that that's the role that government plays, or the value-added role that the BC government also plays in the work that we do. Because once a government, uh, I suppose, is engaged, it validates the relationship. And it's where you then see things start to happen. 
Um, and so I'm very interested in, uh, in hearing what you have to say today. I'd like to hear more from you about value added or the role that government should be playing in opening up markets in Asia, but particularly the unique role of the value add that you see government playing in supporting and advancing the HQ Vancouver initiative as well. So thank you very much. Thank you.